Carlo, it's Jane Orvier and our little Swedish friend in our semi-dark and green for some more imaging. So we've already gone through a few of the landmarks, so that's why we've already got some stickers on. So when I put them in the dark, you can see. So I'd like now to do the cervical spine and the um, thoracic, sorry, the lumbar spine. Um, I think people find this difficult because we all do spinal x-rays differently in practice, depending on what level of equipment we've got. Some places will literally just do actually the whole front half of the dog because then it's going to go for MRI. But if you were looking at doing this for specific things, particularly cervical spine, it can be a little bit difficult because you're looking at all bony landmarks. So we're looking at our occipital crest, which if you look on any x-rays of dogs, you're looking at just behind where the ears come up. So if you think on your own head, actually my skull doesn't go right down to my shoulder blades. My skull stops and then I have the spinal column. So I will take one of these, put this here. And remember, it's always to include that area. But then we're going down and we're going to the line of the first rib. So the line of the first rib is going to come up and it's actually going to be under the dog's shoulder blade. So it's going to be slightly under where the scapula is. So I'm going to put my second one down here. But also here, although we need to include, so we've got occipital crest, line of the first rib. We're obviously going to have dorsal as the skin surface, although because the x rays in a straight line, obviously, it's going to be mimicking the skin surface, but then it's mid ventral neck, so it's not the whole neck that you're taking, it's only the part that's of interest. So, we're going to have cranial caudal, dorsal, and then ventral, we're going to be about halfway down our neck. So, you're going to end up with a slightly twisted, and when I do this in the x ray, I'll show you, you're going to end up with a slightly twisted patient compared to the beam because you would want your line of interest your cross line to go down here and then you're going to form a square like that and that's how you would get your survival